All right, wonderful. Welcome, everyone. So today we have a no wallet demo 27th and we have lots of updates actually to um, show to the community. So let's start. By the way, while we're waiting for others, feel free to scan the QR code and join our social medias like a Telegram, Twitter, YouTube, where you can watch these demos uh, and also get access to the links shown here. So feel free to access them. And now let's proceed. So version 4.1 release. So version 4.1 release was focused around, uh, I would say, two major things. First one was the updating the user interface and the branding. And you're going to see an amazing video and our explanation in the social media after the demo. We're going to post it uh, on the Twitter. But up, uh, update is already available now, so you can go and download and update your applications to see the new elegant and premium interface. And the second one is that um, the final piece for the open gov, I would say, was to connect the Polka assembly API uh, to the basically no wallet so that everyone can see the titles and the descriptions of the referendum. So let me just briefly um, go and show you how it looks like uh, on the device. So here I have the Android device available with latest version. Uh, you can see the new look of Nova. So the new color set, uh, the new uh, logos as well as soon as you update the application and you will see uh, the new splash screen, the new colors, the new buttons. So everything feels refreshed. It's more elegant uh, to feel more premium basically. Um, regarding the governance too, let's take a look what's going on here. So in the recent updates, we delivered the possibility to switch between version one governance on Kusama network and the open governance, which is governance version two, uh, so that users can still have access to the voting, which are still happening uh, on the governance version one side due to the transition period. But most of the new proposals are published uh, to the open governance or governance two. So let's check how it looks like. Now, you are able to see basically not only the status of the referendum, when the status will be changed in the top right corner, uh, the track information, the referendum number, and also the threshold information regarding the I to NI votes, which is 64% here. Uh, and the second threshold is basically how much tokens needed to be um, allocated to this referendum. So now you can also see in the governance tour, in the open governance, uh, the title of the referendum, so we can finally have an idea what's going on here, right? As well as descriptions. So that's now available in the store. So now you can finally get the same experience as you um, getting for the governance version one. So if you go to governance version one, you can basically see the same thing without tracks, of course, but uh, also with the titles and descriptions. So that was uh, pushed to the markets just today. So both branding update and the governance fixes available starting from today, which is great news. So let's jump to the demo slides again. And let's discuss the ERC20 tokens um, and what we are doing in this direction. So ERC20 tokens uh, is basically part of our Moonbeam treasury proposals. And if uh, everything will went well with the ERC20 uh, token support release, then we're going to submit a new one, which would be allocated to the new um, NFT standard support, which are ERC721 and others, right? So that should expand the amount of supported NFTs in Nova for the Moonbeam, Moonriver, and other networks which are supporting these standards. Other proposals in this direction for the Moonbeam treasury, including um, hardware wallet support. So we're going to support the ledger for the moon moon river as well as the party signer since we have collaborated with their team to manage that party signer would be able to work with the moonbeam and moon river cryptography another direction here would be to improve our staking features in no wallet so you know that you can stake glimmer on the moonbeam and mover on the moon river but we want to get the latest features available in NoWorld as well, such as after compounding and other features, which we also 
uh, received as a feedback from the community members. So that would be another scope of the features which we are planning to um, submit as our Moonbeam treasury proposals. And last but not the least, will be basically a group of improvements overall in general uh, in the direction of the EVM or Moonbeam features, such as like uh, the customizable gas fees, or even adding the custom EVM networks uh, right from the interface of Nova so that you can extend the list of the networks by yourself. So basically that would be the scope of the features which we are planning and considering to work with the Moonbeam treasury. Our first treasury proposals, uh, pro proposal sorry, for the ERC20 support was approved, uh, I think three weeks ago or something like that. So now we also funded by the Moonbeam treasury. You can see this uh, widget here. So we are very excited to work on these features. And now let's take a look on the demo what we have now. So if uh, this, by the way, is available for now only in internal version. And I assume that we're going to release it either late next week or something like a week after um, the next one. So the idea would be to extend the default list of the assets by adding those uh, ERC20 tokens from the Moonbeam and Moonriver networks to the default set uh, of the tokens that no one knows. Uh, before, we usually added all of the substrate tokens, like if you will see on Akala, Akala is uh, using the Ormel palette, so we can see all these assets uh, available uh, on Akala in Nova, right? But for the Moonriver, it was kind of um, a situation in which we had access only to the substrate API, right? But we couldn't fetch all these ERC20 tokens. So before uh, we couldn't see such tokens like, like beans, CVC, die, frogs, and all of these tokens, which are basically on the Moon River side or Moon, Moon River side are ERC20. And now Nova can finally work with them. Nova can fetch the balances for them, Nova can send these tokens, Nova can fetch the operation history for these tokens, and all of the separations basically which are applying to the other tokens uh, in Nova. So this is great. Now, what else we're going to add? We're going to add the assets management feature because since we're going to expand dramatically assets into the Nova wallet, because on Moonbeam and Moonriver combined, there are 10,000 assets uh, of the year C20 tokens, right? So you can see that it's four something uh, thousand on the Moonbeam and almost 7,000 uh, on the Moonriver, which means that the user should have um, an ability to customize the tokens uh, that they would like to manage, right? So they want to disable or they want to add the new tokens to the app because we might not know about some token that user would like to use. And this is really common UX uh, for the user. So I can press the button at here. I will select the network, for example, Moonbeam, and then I need to paste the ERC20 contract address. And in most of the cases, um, the symbol, the decimals would be automatically fetched from the blockchain. And I can, as a user, I can also add the CoinGecko link so that the token that I have just added will be um, supported with a price from the CoinGecko, which is nice. But also for the management, I can disable any of the tokens here. So I can even disable, uh, let's see what I have as the balances. I have Polkadot uh, tokens. Uh, I have KSM tokens in Kusama. So I can even disable those if I want, right? So if I go back, I will no longer see them, right? And what happens here is actually the Nova stops uh, fetching the balances for this network. So we actually disable these networks right now. Uh, what we can also do, such uh, uh, because of the KSM um, existing on the multiple networks, right? We can manage on which networks we would like to see KSM tokens. So you can see that KSM exists uh, on the multiple networks, and all of these networks are supported in Nova. But if I don't want to see the KSM on Kusama, for example, I can do that, right? And you can see that now. KSM is supported not on all networks, but only on the Basilisk and the 12 more. And if I go back, I will no longer see KSM on the Kusama network, but I will see KSM token on all other networks, such as StateMine, Basilisk, and others. So this is also great. So let's uh, return it back. And let's take a look about, uh, let's take a look on the tokens uh, on the Moonbeam and let's try to basically uh, hold on. 
let's try to basically see if balances are working. So we can see the BNB token, right? Uh, and bunch of others. So if we will go uh, to any DApp, like a DEX on the Moonbeam, um, let's take a look on the Beam Swap. So if you go on the Beam Swap and we'll try to swap uh, one of the tokens uh, to receive the ERC20 token, right? So let's see if Nova will fetch it and if we will see this token in Nova. So what we have here, I have some Glimmer tokens. So let's use the Glimmer for swapping. And for other tokens, what we have here, uh, we have Beans token, we saw that in Nova. And we also have a BNB token. So let's try to have some BNB token. Let's swap something like a four Glimmer. Yeah, it results in not much BNB, but uh, yeah, let's try to do it. Preview the operation. Confirm the swap. And it seems that basically a transaction is submitted. By the way, you can see this nice button at BNB to MetaMask. We are also considering to submit this one of, as one of the features to Moonbeam uh, treasury proposals because this is uh, a really interesting uh, UX uh, when the user is operating with multiple ERC20 tokens so that they can basically add it immediately to the Nova. So let's go back to the Nova. We can see in BeamSwap interface that I have some BNB tokens. So let's see what I have on the asset screen if I go back. So let's search for the Moonbeam network. And yes, I can see the BNB token. I can see my balance. I can see the fiat value. I can even see the this operation, which was basically a swap uh, as a transfer of these tokens to be received uh, on my account, which is great. So uh, that would be it for the demo for now for the ERC20 tokens. Uh, We're going to finalize it and basically release and present on the next demo as well. So we're going to present the transfers and we're going to present the adding the new tokens. Uh, but yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next week. Uh, I think that would be the date when we can release the year 20 update. So let's go back to the slides. The roadmap. For the roadmap, we are now in December, so it's like a final quarter of the 2022. We just finished the governance, uh, and now we just finished the Nova branding update uh, with our version 4.1 release. And also, we are now working on the ERC20 support as well as we're composing the third Kusama Treasury proposal. So that are things which we are working on right now. And yeah, that would be it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the chat. But I think that would be it from our side. So let me check the chat. All right. So I think we can wrap up in this case. Thank you so much, everyone who joined. And I wish you a good day. Cheers.